Hello there and welcome to the engineering experience. Today I'm going to present you with 10 Excel tips for beginners to help you really boost your productivity at work. So let's get started. The first tip is all about navigation. You can see on the screen a large set of data. If I wanted to see what's at the end, I can use the scroll bar. Alternatively, I can press Control and right button to go to the end. Control and down button to go to the bottom of the data, control and left to go to bottom left and control and up to come back to the top of the data. To add to this tip, I can also hold control and shift left to select everything in between. Tip number two is about making it easier to populate functions you may have type typed in. So let's say for example, we wanted to calculate uh, the sum for the data sets that we have here. So from B2 all the way down to 629. So I can put in here equals sum B2 B629. If I wanted to do this for all of them, using the first tip, I can travel to the end, go down, hold Control Shift and left, and then press the Control R button. This will populate the function that you typed in for the first cell into the rest of them. For tip number three, I'm going to show you how to combine graphs. So let's say we plot whatever is in this data against time. So column A and B. I'm going to use the scatter plot for this. So we've got one plot with this data. Then I can plot another data if I wanted to combine this, I can easily do this by pressing Ctrl X on the first graph and pasting it over the second graph. For the fourth tip, I'm going to show you how to um, pop, auto populate certain data so that you don't have to drag all the way down. So let's say we have a fourth data column on column E. So we can do well, let's say this is a sign and we're using the time column from from column A. So we can either select this cell, press the little square button here and then drag all the way down. Alternatively, we can double press this little square and it will automatically do this for us. Tip number five is making it easier to manage data. For this tip, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel transpose function. Currently, we have the data presented in rows. So what I will do is copy all the data that's in column E using Control C. And then I'm going to go to another column and paste it using Control V. And then I'm going to select the paste options and then select the transpose which will turn the data from rows into columns. For tip number six, I'll show you how to copy tables so that they can be copied on, onto presentations or reports easily. To do this, you would need to select the data that you want to present. In my case, I, I have some random data here. You can go to copy, copy as picture and use the bitmap option. I find this is the best. So I can copy this, place this into Word, and I get a nice table in picture format that can't, cannot be manipulated by Word. So it's very easy to manage. For tip number seven, I'm going to show you a nice little function that's built into Excel that can make managing graphs a lot easier. Let's say we have a graph for the data set in column A and B. Excel, you can add in using right click, insert, chart, a worksheet that's intended for charts only. So I can cut and paste this into here. And this makes it a lot easier to look at, manage, and manipulate to whatever your requirements are. 
For tip number eight, I'm going to show you how you can make your life a little bit easier by adding commonly used functions on the quick access toolbar. For example, let's say you use the percentage uh, formatting quite often on your graphs. What you can do is right click and add to quick access toolbar, which makes it appear here. You can also move the toolbar below the ribbon which can make it make, can also make it easier to use and you can do this with many different functions for example you can add um, wrap text you can add um, charts and they will all appear on on this toolbar here thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe bye for now